Hello there, I'm Laura Croft, and if you want to be a kick-ass fighting machine superhero like I am, then watch the following tutorial. Now, first what you want to do is prime your eyes with a primer to prolong the eyeshadow wear and also keep the eyeshadow color true. Now I'm going to take a beige color and then apply it to the ball of my eyes and then the residue amount of shadow will be applied onto my brow bone as a highlighter. Next I'm going to take a bronze color and apply it to the outer half of my upper lids. Using the same color I'm going to make a V on the outer edge. Now taking a taupe color, I'm going to apply it to the outer half of my crease. Next I'm going to line my upper lids with a pencil liner and remember that little strokes will make a steady line. Alrighty, so taking the taupe color again, I'm going to set the pencil liner and I'm going to kind of smudge it a little bit so it looks more natural. After this, I'm going to line my waterline and my lower lids with a pencil liner and then set this with a brown color. My eyebrows are going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to add some definition to it with a uh, eyebrow marker from NYX. I'm going to apply like a really thin layer of mascara on my top lids so that I can apply on faux lashes and then um, zigzag motion of mascara on my bottom lids also. So NYC faux lashes were bought at Target and they're really cheap so that's why I kind of bought them for Halloween. Um, and then I'm going to apply some blush, it's a cream blush diagonally on my cheekbones. And then I'm going to set all of my makeup so that it lasts all night long um, with a translucent powder. I love it, I got it from Makeup Forever and I've been using it for a really long time. And then I'm using like a cream blush on my lips and then a brown lip gloss over that to um, try to replicate the color that Angelina Jolie had in the movie. Moving on to hair, we're going to do a side parting and I actually already teased my hair a little bit for added volume. We're going to do a French braid, so three sections, braid and then grab a section on each side and adding it to the braid and then keep braiding. I actually have a video on how to do a French braid which I will link in the, descri the description bar below. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied. I gotta just do that little tongue every once in a while to untongue-tie myself. So the bottom half will be a fishtail braid. I just like this twist. I love fishtail braids and the way they look. So you do two sections and you grab a little bit of hair from one side and then put it in the opposite section and then repeating that on the other side. Um, I have a video on this also which I will link in the description bar below if you guys are interested in learning. In the movie and the video game she has like some side bangs so I'm going to set my side bangs so that they don't go all wild and crazy into my eyes. Using my thumbs, I'm going to kind of push the strands outward so that the braid is fuller. And the pants are, I, I'm sorry, they're so furry, but I got them at the thrift store. My cats made them super furry, but I cut them into shorts, which I will link a video below also if you want to learn how to cut pants into shorts. And here is my Laura Croft video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and happy Halloween! And if you haven't seen my previous Cruella de Vil um, costume yet, then please click on the link that I'll link in this video. Also, Ramwe is having a Halloween sale, so I will link all the discount codes that they have in the description bar below.